Good evening, Firebirds, and welcome to week one of the regular season for Firebirds Rocket League team. I'm your host, Bearder Man, and I am so excited for this season. We've seen two weeks of amazing activation games, and now we're here for the regular season, the first official game following the Firebirds Red versus Purdue. Now joining me is one of the legendary players that we talked about all of those past two weeks, uh, a freshman and already in the challengers division, already seeing such phenomenal gameplay. I'm joined by the amazing Vale. How's it going? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, excited. I'm excited. So, so I gotta ask, what is it like? How does it feel right now? Being you know, in such a high division. It, it, is, fresh, it is stressful yeah. because um, we really don't know what to expect. Um, we tried scouting the team and we couldn't find anything on them. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're just going in blind. We're going to play our game and I think we'll be okay. I, I like it. You know, it's, it's good to have that, that level head going in, but uh, you're, you know, when you joined your, the team, you know, these guys have been playing together for kind of a season already. So how did it feel kind of jumping into this? I mean, honestly, I felt like I just fit right in. I mean, all the guys, they're, they're awesome people. Mm -hmm. And I think we've built some good chem. We got a lot, we got a long ways to go still, but um, I think the, the road's there and we're ready. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I think from what we've seen in the past two weeks, it's already there. And the fact yeah. that it's, it can only really get better shows how awesome and powerful you guys are going to be. So, um, you know, final for the question for tonight, though, is also against Purdue. Like, such a, a, a famous school yeah. going against Carthage. Like, I mean, it's, are you ready? It's, yeah, I'm excited, you know. At the end of the day, if, if, even if we lose, I mean, if we, we just do what we're supposed to, I mean, we'll, we'll bot review and then we'll have some good – film to look at i think oh yeah from this I'm, game for sure i'm confident we've seen such <laughs> amazing you know qualities from you and the rest of the guys so um i think it's gonna go well you I know just so. just focus on the game at hand and as you said it's it'll work out so um but thank you so much for joining yeah, me i'll let you go you. uh get ready for the game <laughs> we don't want you to be late for yeah. that um but joining me I, I you could go <laughs> uh joining me as my amazing co-host, because unfortunately, Tan the Man is not here. Tanner is not with us, so we are here with the another legendary player. That hair flip was awesome. I oh, sorry, it. I was taking the hat off. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's it going? Going well. Uh, I'm very excited to see this uh, going against a hometown team for me, and I, I told the coach, I was like, I gotta cast this one. It's gonna be a good one. So, we're going up against the Boilermakers, so very very famous in indiana and i'm currently from indiana so um i'm super excited to see what carthage can do against them it it should be really good and it should be fun to see yeah so now for the viewers at home who have never seen you before who are you uh i i'm duck um and i'm also known by my real name aiden um <laughs> but your real name <laughs> um and i play on the rocket league white team so You'll see me later tonight, more than likely. So <laughs> it should be a good one. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Now, game one, Carthage versus Purdue, as we've been saying. Le starting lineup is going to be Hoaxed, Vale, and Datsun. Three very, very powerful players. Yeah, and I totally agree. I think they should have a well-rounded match here, and it should be a real good one. Um, and I know that Purdue has some really hot hitters, and they're going to come in hard, and they're going to come in fast, and the boys just got to be ready for that. And I think they're more than prepared for it, so... They got chanted Ryan and Sam, so. That's always really nice to see. Some chanted. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great Disney movie, too. Yeah, so it looks like we got Hoax and Ryan on the kickoff here, and it looks like Batson's gonna take it across the field. But it's gonna be stopped by Chanted. Bale's gonna try and take it up the wall now. It's gonna get stopped by Ryan here. Nice little clear by him as well. Chanted trying to clear something up here, but just can't get a touch. Bale's going to try and push it down the field, and he can't, but Sam's going to be there to stop it and pop it for one of his teammates. And Enchanted is going to be able to seek it through. The Boilermakers are now up 1-0 on the five of grades. Very solid start from Purdue. Yeah, no, I could totally agree. They have something going here, and they're just trying to feel each other out right now. The first about 20-ish seconds, and it seems like the Boilermakers kind of can see what they can work with now. So. Pokes now just trying to get it out to the freshman, but just can't connect with him. Right? Or Sam, sorry. He's trying to get it across the field, but Gatson's going to put it away. Ryan here now trying to make something do it, and Enchanted trying to finish it off, but just can't. Gatson trying to clear it out, but Ryan's going to shut it down, and Hoax is going to try to get it clear, but it's a soft touch. They're pushing it back to their end for Enchanted to take down the field, but Hoax is going to put a stop to it. 
Trying to get another double, looking for another teammate. There's a low. There we go. There that was go. beautiful. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I saw that coming. I'm like, this is going to be perfect. I, I, I struggled with words there because <laughs> I saw Vale come in and I was like, uh oh, like, what's going on here? And it looks like Hoax was trying to get that kind of the push through on one of the players there and just couldn't get the connection, but they still got it through. So, one one Firebirds. Looks like Sam's going to get a nice clear out of here. Try to go up for another touch. Hoax is not going to get the read. Vale's going to try to control it, but Ryan's going to shut it down and try to get another touch out to mid for his teammate. The enchanted is going to put it on, but miss. Vale's going to get the nice clear out of here. Looks like Ryan's trying to get it, get it to another teammate here, and Hoax is going to shut it down, pushing it to the backboard. Vale with the nice clear there. Enchanted is trying to keep it in their zone, keep that pressure up right now. Ryan with another good 50 there. And then Enchanted just can't connect right there. Bale here trying to get it out of the field. Trying to make something to do with it with zero boost on the line here. And Hoax is going to put a nice one on, on target there, but just can't connect. Sam's so going to put an end to that push. Enchanted now coming up. He's got something going here with a nice, beautiful double by the Boiling Rivers there. I think that was a really good play. Now, the Firebirds weren't exactly bad at all. They held that for quite a while, uh, but there was that split second opening that Purdue saw and was able to seize. Yeah, for sure. I totally can agree upon that. There was a nice little opening for Enchanted to get a little something going there and just to finish it off was just beautiful by him. So that's in here going right back to back <laughs> with that, and that is just beautiful. That's what we love to see. So nice little kick off there by Hoax being able to 50 it and get it through the defense. And Gatson just coming in there to scoop it up and put it right through. Beautiful work by the Firebirds. Oh, yes. This team, the Firebirds are perfect right now. They are uh, setting each other out perfectly, and it uh, hopefully it continues. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And Hoax is going to get a clear off the field here. Ryan's going to try to make something to do with it, but Hoax is hunting him down. Hoax just can't get a touch, and Ryan's going to shoot it out to mid to enchant it now. Ooh, that was a good shot by Ryan there, putting it on that, but just couldn't connect. Looks like Sam's going to try to put an end to what Vale has cooking. That's in there with a nice clear. Ryan's up for the ball. Ryan's trying to get it out to mid, but just can't connect. Hoax now putting it out mid for one of his teammates to put through and just connect. That's him with a nice shot there. This little passing play going there with Ryan and Enchanted. Sam's going to get a beautiful clear out of here, but Gatson's going to try to get something. Enchanted, again, is going to shut it down. This little, this little double hit by Hoax. That's him last back being able to fend off for that was a great shot, you know, and, and that's, again, at no fault from the fiber there. We can see uh, an attempted block from Vale and Datsun, but Datsun was just, you know, just a smidge too short, and um, it, it really came down to that. Yeah, I totally, the attempt was me. I totally agree. They just saw something in the defense that was a little pointed out. They took their time, and they... They obviously capitalized on it, and that was beautiful for the fire, not Firebirds, the Boilermakers. But Vale now trying to get something moving for the Firebirds, trying to get as much pressure. Hoax is going to keep it in now. Vale's going to pop it up, but it looks like Ryan's going to shut it down. He's going to try to force a 15. He gets a nice one. Enchanted is up fast for that one. Getting a nice clear up to Sam. Now we get a 1v1 situation with Sam. Nope, and Vale comes in to scoop it up. That's another Trying to get something for his teammates. It looks like all Firebirds are down on their half right now. Hoax just not being able to connect. Going back over with it. Ryan gets a nice touch and he's going to try to clear it out, but Vale's going to try to stop it here. Nice little plant by him as well. Chanted gets a clear out. Vale's going to scoot in. Now Hoax is going to try to put it on the map, but just can't connect. Oh, and we got a beautiful passing play going here by, by the Boilermakers. And that was well played. That was that was a really good shot, um, but the Firebirds were there trying their best to defend it, but I think it just kind of fell short. We could see Vale hitting the top of the net, uh, probably misreading just a little bit yeah. uh, their their location in regards of the goal, but yeah. hopefully we can see it come back. I totally agree, and it just seems like the Firebirds are maybe a little a little nervous. They, me and my other teammate did a little bit of research. They are a little bit uh, higher rank than, than like, like the Firebirds, but I believe they should be able to Fend off and be able to hold together their, with our cook in here. Looks like Hoax is going to try to make something do with the ball. Just a nice little clear there by Ryan. Coming back to their end. Sam's going to get a nice clear, and Enchanted is now up for the pop. 
Sam's there for another pile. I see that 50 there by the, by Vale that was going unnoticed there. Sam's gonna try to make something do with this, just can't get the right top of read on it. it. Looks like the Firebirds are taking a little bit of like, their time with it right now. They're just trying to get in the groove, trying to get to where they want to be at, and it just seems like everything that they're trying to do is just the Boilermakers are shutting down. Looks like all the Firebirds are in one corner right now, not looking too good, but Hoax is going to get out there and clear for them, which is real good. Hoax trying to make something do with this one, but has zero boost, but it's going to get shut down by Enchanted. Gatson's going to get a nice, beautiful pop there, but Ryan's going to be there to shut it down and be able to control the ball to get it to half the field. Gatson there trying to get something of it, and it's going to get in and stop him. It's going to hit this ground. What do you think about that one? What, what do you think the the Firebirds can do to fix what they got going here and capitalize on this next game? I think a lot of the mistakes we saw from the Firebirds were very slight. You know, a lot of times it was just a you know a little bit of a distance between them and the ball to you know to they missed the block in any in in that way, um, and it really really comes down to timing that stuff. You know, if you're a half second too slow on you know using your boosters whatever, that could mean everything yeah. and i think that's what it's coming down to now it's not that the firebirds are made or like not taking those those maneuvers you know they're trying to block it but they're not you know able to in that sense yeah i know what you mean yeah they're just not getting the clears that they want i think honestly this firebirds team is very well known for mm -hmm. their passing game and i think if they get that out and they bring it out and present it to purdue i think they could get something flowing here and it'll be real good for them Oh yeah, and this is the regular season, so it's not like we're gonna 3-0 them. Like it's going to be these teams are really, really evenly matched. Yeah, so I, I totally agree. And it's not gonna be the only time they see them. They might see them in nationals. They might see them in playoffs. It's just a very well eye opener for the Firebirds to get grooving and moving. So it looks like the Firebirds are gonna get a nice stop there, and that's gonna be hoaxed. But Enchant is gonna get a nice pop to the backboard. Bale's gonna try and pop it out, and also get a beautiful 50 on that. Hoax is trying to get something of it. He's going to try to pop for one of his teammates. Sam's going to be there to intervene. Hoax now with zero boost. Vale kind of waiting for the ball to come to him. Vale's got nice control over this. Trying to bring it down the field. Trying to get a little pop for Dadson. Dadson gets a little misread off that. And Sam's going to clear it out for the, for the boil ah, boiler makers. Nice little 50 there by Vale and Enchanted. Hoax has got some space here, but Sam's going to come in and shut it down. That's it now. Trying to get a clear off for his team because they're under high pressure right now. Hoax is going to do it for him. Very well played by the Firebirds right there. Hoax is now looking for one of his teammates. Bale's going to put it on that and try to pass to, to Dats and just, just can't connect. Bale okay, now popping for one of his teammates. Nice shot there by Hoax, but Sam's going to get the save and no Firebirds are down in their half. Unfortunate. I think that one came down to the fact that they were just positioned incorrectly, you know. I think they were playing way too aggressive. Now, nobody was in the back line trying to, um, you know, catch it or have the ability to Im immediately go back to the goal if needed, and it definitely blew up in their face. Yeah, no, and I totally agree upon that. If a little bit of what's going on now is that the Firebirds are just kind of maybe having miscommunication. The rotations are just not clicking. But give them some time, they could definitely fix that. I know they notice it, so just give me a few moments and go on again. Oaks now trying to put it back out for Vale. Oh, with a nice fake and gets one to go, but just can't connect with the ball. Ryan here trying to take it down the field. Vale now low with boost, trying to make something of it, trying to get one of his teammates. But Sam's going to get a miss. Oaks is going to come in there to 50, but Ryan's going to push it through. Vale now trying to get it out for his teammates. He just can't. Sam's going to get a nice clear there. Hoke's got some space here. He's already got Ryan up there, and that was fast. Ryan was up there ready for that ball. Nice little shot there by Enchanted, and the Firebirds were just not ready for that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not quite sure went wrong. what went wrong with that. You saw Dadson right there, but just not able to make any sort of movement, so... Yeah, no, I totally agree upon that, and it just seems like there was maybe some miscommunication. Rotation just wasn't going the way they wanted it to go, but Firebird should be able to get something rolling here, hopefully. So, nice little clear there by Vale. 
trying to get it down to one of his teammates and he's trying to put it on the net but just can't connect with Hoax. Sam now trying to make something with zero boost. Now he's 100, but Bad Sun's going to get in there and make a nice 50. And then Enchanted's going to come in there as well and try to get it out and make for one of his teammates. Nice little save there by Vale. Bad Sun now trying to pass to Vale to get something moving. Sam there, back there to stop him. Bad Sun trying to take it up the wall, it gets one defender to move. Enchanted now got the reset, but doesn't do anything of it. Nice little clear there by Ryan. Back to Enchanted, and then back to Ryan again. Nice little push there by Sam. We're trying to make something of it. None of the Firebirds are back right now. Something I'm seeing right now is that the Firebirds like to push all together. They kind of like to space out and get their passing plays. It's just, something's just not connecting, unfortunately. I know, it, it, it really is, it's, it's interesting, and I think, as Vale said, if you know, however this game goes, they're going to be watching the film, seeing what they did wrong, working on where they need to improve. Yeah, no, I totally agree upon that. I think they just got the the week one jitters is what a lot of people like to say, and that could be the case. You know, Purdue is a very strong team, and they're something that's going to be a force reckoned with. And it just seems like we might just have the jitters. We might need a kind of get a little bit warmer, but let's see if Dadson can make something to do with it and try to get to one of his teammates. But the game's still long from over. We still yes. have the potential. This is only game two in a best of five series. So. Correct, yeah. So we still got a minute 25, which is more than plenty of time for the Firebirds to make something to do with it. Sam's going to now send it back to his half. Very interesting play there, trying to get a pass back, but nobody gets back. Nice little slot there by Dadson. That was beautiful. Pokes got the set for him being able to sink it through. Sam gets a missed touch. He just doesn't know what to do. He doesn't want to bring it up. But nice little play there by the Firebirds, getting that touch, being able to put it through, and that's the momentum that the Firebirds need right yes. now. So I'm excited to see what they have to do in the in less than a minute 14. So I think they could do it. Should be a good one. Dancer now trying to get it, get it out of the field. Just can't connect with it. Oaks now going up for the ball. Enchanted's going to clear it off. Vale trying to make something do with this, but gets 50 off by Sam. Firebirds have a minute left to get two more goals. Oaks trying to make something. It looks like the Boilermakers are getting a little too comfortable. They're kind of sitting on top of each other. Vale now trying to make something. Going downfield, but Ryan's going to put a stop to it. That's him now trying to clear it down to keep that pressure up. Now back to Hoax. That's him going for the big boost. He's going to cut it in. Vale there, nice shot by Vale, but Ryan is there to put a stop to it. Oaks trying to get a touch, but just can't, but gets beat by Ryan. Nice little clear there by the Boilermakers. Trying to get a touch to sink it in, but looks like Sam just kind of ran out of boost there. Oaks now, low boost, trying to make something of it. Goes low, grabs the 100, he's gonna take it up the wall now. He's gonna pass out the Vale. It looks like both the Boilermakers are going to put a stop to it. And now, uh, free jumping. And the Boilermakers are now two, up 2-0 two, two in the series. What are your thoughts? What do you think the Firebirds can do to kind of fix what's going on? They played a little bit better there that I saw, um, but just not well enough to keep up with the Boilermakers. I think um, the Firebirds are making some great shots. You know, they're seeing these opportunities and taking them. But there's always a Boilermaker in the way, you know, blocking it. So I think the Firebirds are going to need to just really, really focus on how they can get through these defenses. You know, they're seeing their got the shots, you know. They're able to take some of these shots. And, you know, if there isn't a Boilermaker in the way, it would have gone in. So it's, it's really finding those holes in their defense that I think the Firebirds are really going to need to sit down and look at. Um, but... I personally don't know what exactly they could do better outside of that. What do you think? I Honestly, I think it's just because the Firebirds, multiple of those goals, what came across for them and put them up, put the Purdue team up three to one, was it's just the rotation they're pushing as a team right now. Mm -hmm. And if they kind of learn to hold off a little bit, be a little bit patient, let the Boilermakers kind of come to you, I think the I think the Firebirds will be able to roll and get something going, and it should be good for them. So, game three, the Firebirds are down 2-0 here in the series. So, five minutes to play, plenty of games to go. So, this could be great. We'll yeah. see how it goes. So, maybe a reverse sweep. 
I'm feeling it. I know the Firebirds are out there talking about what they could do better and what they need to do. So, nice little stop there by Vale. That's a now. Trying to get something, but Sam's going to beat him to the ball. Pokes now. Trying to get it out of the field, but it's going to roll over to Datsun. Datsun now is going to try to pop it, but Ryan gets up super fast. Trying to center it for one of his teammates, and Sam gets stopped by Hoax. Enchanted now. Low boost, but gets a nice 50 on Datsun. Hoax now pushing it to the corner for Vale to kind of get rolling with. Vale gets a nice clear out of there past one defender. Hoax now. Had a lot of space to work with. Trying to make something of it. Ooh. It just looks like he just can't connect there. Looks like it was just too short from the crossbar. Nice little 50 there by Vale. Pushing it out to one of his teammates. Nice little touch. Nice little 50 again by Datsun on Sam. Datsun trying to make something for his teammates, but it's low on boost. It's going to rotate out of there, and Vale's going to try to get something going. Pokes now out to mid to Datsun. It looks like it's going to get shut down by one of the Boilermakers. makers. So what I'm seeing right now, a lot of a lot of the times, is that the Boilermakers makers are actually double committing a lot. So like right here, like wow, there you I go. You called it. Like like right here. Yeah. So. It might. They might be um, just too confident, you know? Yeah. And I think they think, oh, we're leading in 2-0. Uh, we're leading 2-0 uh, in the series. You know, I, I, I don't have to be here. It's okay if I let them score. And that might be their downfall. Yeah. No, I totally agree. And that's, maybe they're comfortable. Maybe they maybe they want to see game five. Maybe, maybe they want to go to game four and all that good stuff. And I mean, I want to go to game five. I want to see how see how these Firebirds can get rolling. And I, I know they could get rolling. I know they're capable of it. So, Hoax here now, trying to get something of it. Just can't connect, and Enchanted is going to shut it down. It seems like Enchanted is their main person that's just always back there putting a stop to it. Sam now trying to get a touch, but it's going to get cleared out again by Enchanted. That's him now trying to get something cleared out again by Enchanted. Hoax now, low boost. Sam now putting it on target. Bale there with a beautiful stop on the, on the Boilermakers. Nice little demo there by, by Datsun on the line. Trying to get his teammate that space that they need. Fail now. Popping it down low. Ryan trying to put it on target. Is able to get it the So it looks like the demos are starting to come out a little bit more. And I feel like if the Firebirds can incorporate that into their play style, they're going to be able to get, it, get things moving. And I know they can. And they, they used to be a real big demo team. Gatson's very known for his demos. So if you can get that rolling, I think, I think we can have something special. But 1-1, one, one, Firebirds, Boilermakers, with about 2.54 left in the game, which is plenty of time for a lot of things to happen. That's a now trying to pass it back to Hoax, but it's going to cut him off and kind of take possession. Enchanted now meeting them at the wall, being able to shut him down. Fail there, trying to put it on target, but just can't connect. Hoax now trying to just clear it out, give his team some time, but Ryan's going to get a beautiful clear out there. Nice little stop there by Vale. Firebirds are going to be able to push it to the ground, but Ryan's going to meet him. That's on there. Or, sorry, Hoax. Now, trying to make something of it. Trying to get a little passing play going. They're stuck at the wall. All Firebirds are rotating back now fast because the green team is getting a good push here. Nice little clear there by Gatson, but gets stopped by Enchanted. Or hoax now, trying to make something of it. Pops it for his teammate, but it looks like no Firebird is there. I'm mistaken. Bale is there and sinks it through. That was a beautiful play by the Firebirds. No boost, very low. Hoax was like, let me get it out there. Bale, where are you at? I'm right here, man. I'm sinking it through. Bale, we've seen this so many times uh, tonight alone. Bale is always where he needs to be. Always in the position for the ball. Uh, is it's just phenomenal and beautiful to watch. I agree. So, and I feel like the Firebirds are also learning to capitalize on the goal, or on the. Sorry, <laughs> I was just excited. He got the flip reset. He was going low. It was a beautiful play that Hoax was trying to make there. But what I was saying is, is I think the Firebirds are actually acknowledging that they are the Purdue team is double committing, yeah. and they are taking advantage of it, as we can see right now. And that's what we love to see. Nice little goal there by Hoax. Being able to thread it through. I think part of it is coming down to the Firebirds, whether or not this is intentional, it looks like they're trying to force the Boilermakers to, they're forcing the Boilermakers' positions and they're using it to their advantage. They think they're trying to manipulate, you know, their double commits and stuff to get them in a position where the Firebirds can just score. I agree so much upon them because we've seen it a couple of times now with the first goal and the third goal. And I think the Firebirds are doing something right here. Something's clicking for them. They don't want to go home with an 0-1.
record tonight. They're fighting right now, and they're definitely proving it to us. Nice little clear there by Hoax, but Ryan's going to be able to shut it down. Bail now going up the wall, trying to make something do with it, but Enchant is going to miss the lead on it. Hoax now trying to get another touch. That's now uh, taking his time, about a minute left for the Boiler Makers and Firebirds to get something wrong here. That's a, or Hoax, sorry, with a nice little pinch there. Ryan trying to get it out to Enchant, but it looks like Enchanted was just in a very awkward spot. Bail now getting a little pop out for his teammates, but it looks like all three Boilermakers are there to put an end to it. Sam here gets demoed by Hoax, so they're the demos that we want to see. Being able to shut him down and make nothing more of it. Nice little clear there by Hoax, but we're going to have nobody up for the Boilermakers there. That's enough. Trying to make something, but Hoax is going to take it away from him. Sam's going to put an end to it. Nice little clear there by Ryan, but it looks like Gash is going to try to get a touch on it and keep it in, keep the pressure going. Hoax now trying to connect, but just can't. It's a little off on it. Fail now, last one back. Trying to keep that pressure. Nice little demo there by Enchanted on Hoax there. Ooh. Ryan now trying to pop the first teammates. And then there's Fail coming in. That was beautiful. Now that is exactly what we want to see. You know, the Firebirds, I think, were much better off. They figured out where their holes were in their defense and their offense, and we're patching it up. We can see the Firebirds having six shots on goal, whereas Purdue only had three. Yeah, no, so something, something's working. Something's now, we clicked. still have another, you know, game or two left, but right now, 2-1 in the series, the Firebirds are coming back. They show that they have it in them to defeat Purdue. Yeah. So hopefully we can see that, you know, go into this match as well you know the boost management was definitely there they were it was a lot uh there were a lot more times where they had full boost and they were able to use it yeah i totally agree upon that and they were exploiting the defense and it was very well played by the firebirds and it caught the purdue team off guard and i think purdue was just ready to walk home with a 3-0 sweep but the firebirds said no not today and there's a nice little bump there by hopes putting it on net but just sam gets right around it and is able to do something now looks like, oh, nice little flip reset there by Enchanted, but it's going to get stopped by Datsun. Beautiful play there. Oaks now getting a pop down the field, trying to get something of it, but has no boost. Nice little save there by Ryan, but Vale's going to try to push it through, but just can't. We have no Firebirds down on the other hand, but Hoax is there to rush back. Nice little save there by Hoax. Datsun now trying to clear it out. Just can't get another touch. Vale now clearing it out for his team. But it's going to go right back with Ryan bringing it down the field, trying to get it to Enchanted. Nice little shot there by Enchanted. Ryan now trying to make something of it, just can't connect, and neither can Vale, and it looks like there was just a miss, miss shot by the Boilermakers right there. Vale now with a little boost, trying to make something of it, gets a nice clear out with a miss touch from, from Enchanted. That's her hoax now. Just can't connect there. Ryan going for the pass to Enchanted, but it's a nice clear down the field by Datsun, but Sam's there to put an end to it. Bale now trying to pass down mid, but no Firebirds are there. Datsun there for the save. And also there for the clear, but gets demoed as well by Enchanted. And another demo by Enchanted. It looks like another demo by Enchanted, but one of the Firebirds is back in. Datsun now good with the clear. Hoax trying to make something of it, but just can't. Enchanted's got to walk through right now. Bale's got to avoid a demo. Nice little save there by Enchanted, but beautiful shot there by, by, by Enchanted. I think I said Enchanted. Yeah, I on accident. <laughs> um, nice little control there by Ryan, getting it out mid for his teammates, and it's going to go too high, and all the Boilermakers are down in their half now. That's a now trying to get something, get a nice demo there. A little bit of revenge there. Yeah, honestly, and it seems like there's a lot of demo going on, and it just seems like the Firebirds are trying to prove that this is what we need to do to get it down their field, and this is what's going to have to happen, and it seems like the Boilermakers are just not putting up with it. Low boost here on Enchanted, but Jackson's going to clear it out. Nice little clear. He's going to hand it off to Hoax, and Hoax is going to get stopped by Sam. Bail up now. It's a nice pinch off the ceiling. That's him trying to make something of it, but gets cleared down to Hoax. Hoax is going to keep it in, keep the pressure alive. He's looking for a team that gets a nice pinch off the sidewall, and it's going to go straight to Datsun. And then back to Sam, which Sam's going to clear it out. Trying to get it to Enchanted, but Bale's going to put an end to it. Hoaxed up now. Nice little stop there by, by Enchanted. Nice little 
50 there. Trying to put it on that, but just can't get it through. Gatsa now clearing it across, trying to get to Hopes, but it looks like the pass was just a little too wide for him. Down now, pushing it to corner for his teammate to take for him. Nice little clear there by Sam. Gets setting up with one of his teammates, but just can't get the proper touch to put it through. Bale now trying to make something for Hoax to happen. Going back to Datsun. Datsun's going to pop to Hoax. Hoax is going to try to get a read, but Sam's going to put a stop. Bale in there now trying to get it to get it to Hoax to try to get a little passing play going. Low on boost, but Enchanted's going to come in there, sweep it out. Nice little musty there by Enchanted with low boost, getting him across the field. Sam now trying to make something of it. Nice shot there by Sam. Or Ryan, sorry. I was about to say it. Too. That was that was stressful. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that was very stressful. The fact we met, we went four minutes without either team scoring shows just how powerful both of these teams are, and they finally figured out the read, how to read each team. So the Firebirds, they have 69 seconds to make a count, and here yeah. we go. Yeah, and I totally believe they could do it. What they had rolling for them in those first few moments or minutes, sorry was working for him. They had stuff going, they were getting the demos, everything was flowing nicely and it was very well played. It's just we need something to happen here by the Firebirds. Bale's gonna get a nice clear to Hoax now. Hoax is gonna try to push it down the field, but Enchanted's gonna block him out. That's him now with the shot on that, but Enchanted's gonna clear it out to one of his teammates and get another touch actually. Bale now trying to make something of it, trying to clear it down to his teammate. Hoax now keeping it in, keeping the pressure alive with 37 seconds left. Bale now, getting cleared out, Enchanted now up for the ball, gets a nice flip reset, Hoax is going to stop him, but gets the 50 on Hoax. Oh my lord, oh my lord. That was a beautiful move. I think right now it's the boost. I Honestly, I think looking at the Firebirds, there's so many times where they could do, you know, they can make a really good play, but they have no boost in there. Uh, no boost in their reserve. So Firebirds need to, that, I think that might be a big flaw right now. Yeah, I, I can agree a little bit upon that. Um, 20 seconds is still a lot. They can definitely make something of it. It's just they have to play very aggressive here. Looks like Vale's gonna get a touch here. Going back a little bit. Enchanted's there to clear it out. That's on there. It's beautiful clear to Vale, and Vale's gonna put it on target, but Sam's there to put it to an end. And it looks like that's how it's going to close off 3-0 on Prime Birds in Game 4. So what are, what are your thoughts? What do you think going forward that the Firebirds could potentially do to help them improve from this and learn and come back stronger in next week? Now, I think we saw a lot of strength from the Firebirds, you know. Uh, you know, going up, this is week one for them. So a lot for, for Vale and the others, they're still getting their, their you know, preseason their activation week uh gears turn they're, they're they're trying to get that mindset gone you know to to destroy that mindset yeah um they are getting those last minute jitters out and i think um the fact that we won one round shows that we do have it in us we do have that strength and that that round we played was great you know uh, the mistakes that they made were you know ranged from very slight you know very very split second too short or, or too late um, to yeah. just overall, you know, positioning, they're double committing. They are, um, their boost management wasn't there. And I think that was one of the key flaws in that last round, that key faults. Uh, we saw so many times where I think the Boilermakers were trying, were stealing all the, the boosts on the map to the point where the Firebirds just had none. They, there was nothing they could do because they couldn't fly, they couldn't boost, they couldn't do anything. Um, and, you know, I think that's something the Firebirds are going to need to look at in the future. And we did hear immediately from Vale in the in the pregame interview that they are planning on watching film regardless of what's happening. And yeah. I think um, there's going to be a lot that they're going to see. And there's still a lot of things that they did really, really well. Their positioning was great. They would set each other up. Like, there were so many beautiful setups uh, that they did. So um, that I think that just shows just how powerful this team is going to be in the coming weeks um, yeah. and are only going to get stronger from here on out, I bet. Yeah, I and I could totally agree and relate upon that as well. Um, the first few weeks are kind of feeling each other out, making sure that chem is actually there, that glue is there for the team, and those passing plays are very important. Mm -hmm. um, and even rotations as well and boost management, like you explained. Um, and I totally believe that they shouldn't be upset about this. It should be more of a learning experience. 
being able to feel out their division because it's a very hard division. Yeah, that in. Challengers division is what the second highest. Second division? highest, yeah. yeah. So and the fact you're going to be playing up against Purdue, I think we're going to be playing up against Michigan. You know, some of these big schools. Yeah. The fact that we're in this division with those schools is just phenomenal to say. I agree, and it it's... proves a lot. So. It does. It shows we have that strength to be here. And we have having, you know, a round one against against Purdue tonight shows we have that strength in us. So we need to be able to harness that and unlock it further so that, you know, instead of only winning one round, you win all three. So yeah. and I, I totally agree upon that. So but that is all. We will be back about I believe in about a half o'clock. hour at seven, seven o'clock, o'clock for our next game. Yeah. So, so. against uh it's gonna be Carthage. Uh, Firebirds White yeah. against uh, Morningside in Emergence Division. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm excited to see that, and I hope to see each and every one of you there. Um, but we will see you in a bit. So see you soon.